Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Das Schutz from Das Schutz Brewery is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are gonna try Das Schutz. Uh, this is from Das Schutz Brewery. Uh, American Pilsner. 25 IBUs, 4% ABV. Uh, can packaged on date is 2519, about five weeks old from the date I'm reviewing this. Um, I don't I don't know if they made other Pilsners. Uh, I think this is the first one that I've seen from them. Uh, it does have a bear and a whole bunch of flowers on there. Uh, I don't really want to read it. Um, day shoots is what it says on the thing. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to say it or whatnot. Let's go ahead and get it into a glass. I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery. I don't think it was that expensive. Um, they asked me if I wanted it or if I wanted any others. Uh, and they pointed at this and I said, yeah, sure. So they did have to break a six pack of it. Um, very white head, small and medium bubbles. The medium bubbles are popping, leaving peaks. A little over a finger of head, bubbles on the side are large like a bubble wrap would be. Color, very clear, very light yellow color lots and lots of bubbles coming up i would say it is filtered uh oh jessica's burning something up there um lots of bubbles coming up but for a pilsner i can see that let's go ahead and get a smell very clean a little bit of biscuit but i think the most it's almost like a tart citrus that i pick up Yeah, very clean, kind of biscuit toasty, uh, but yeah, like a, a very tart citrus is mixing with that. I don't know if they make it, but like a citrus bread is what I think of when I smell this, but more on that tart citrus side. Let's go ahead and get a drink. A lot of toasted bread like the heel of the bread like if you just took the heel and eat it like that crust is what really sticks out in this beer but for a Pilsner that's what I think you should get to me a little over carb those bubbles are like scraping my tongue very light very clean I don't know how much more you would want. I actually thought I was going to get some of that that tart citrus out of this, which would have been cool to go with that breadiness, but I don't get it out of the taste. Out of the taste, it's more like a straight Pilsner, toasted bread, heel of the bread is what I get. No alcohol, no off flavors I'm picking up in this just a crushable beer it's nice to have something like this that's kind of straightforward uh the beer patrol and i think no hype i did talk about they did videos at separate times it's nice just to have a traditional straightforward beer no adjuncts not a lot in it just a nice beer and i think that's what this is and i don't know if it's because of all these New England IPAs, uh, barrel-aged beers, stouts, porters that I've been drinking. Um, but, yeah, nice, clean, breadiness, what a Pilsner should have. If anything, a little bit over-carbed in my eyes. I would probably have to go with a 4 out of 5. 
good, clean Pilsner beer. Um, I could see somebody that's not into craft beer drinking this because in my eyes, as long as they like the heel taste of a bread, uh, breadiness, I, I think they'll be set. So yeah, four out of five. Let's see if the can tells us anything. Not really. I, I was thinking because the can has like ferns and flowers on it, it almost looks like a jungle. So I was almost thinking it was going to be more earthy flower taste in there along with the Pilsner, which I'm guessing I wouldn't have liked. So I'm not sure why they would have made the can exactly like this. Simple design. So, yeah. Uh-oh, she's doing something else up there. But, yeah, solid four out of five. I could see picking up a six-pack, mowing the lawn, sitting by the pool just to crush some beer if you wanted something that is different. Uh, one of my friends has rated this average 3.5 out of five. Uh, almost 4,000 people have rated this average 3.48. So, I am higher. I would say it's a solid Pilsner. Um, I don't know what that that tart citrus is in the smell, but to me, I'm fine with it. But I guess I better go upstairs and see what's going on up there. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing. <laughs>